Hey y'all, what's going on? It's X, and today I felt like trying a different type of video than my first one. I wanted to do a video that actually walked people through the thought process throughout my games and how I positioned my team to be in the spot to win. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just jump in in parts of the video and explain things like how I read zones, how I choose like where we're going to rotate and how we're going to do it and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you all two games. It's really one and a half. So the first game is like the full game where you all going to see like the full rotation, like the fight choices I make and all the calls that I'll make to like actually get us the win. And the second one is just a pretty cool end game. I'm not going to talk too much over that one because it's a pretty short clip. And also this video will be 20 years long. So I want to do that to y'all. So, uh, yeah, I want to point out the mistakes and also, like, the good calls I make as well. Uh, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy. Leave a like and sub if y'all mess with the content, and I'll see y'all in the game. Peace. Literally, the only thing I need right now in life is a brawler. My day will be good. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're still up. But, but, we get select fire back. Although Burst Prowler itself could have just gone to the care package. I don't know why people don't think that it's the best gun in the game right now, but it is. I two bursted like multiple people with it. Wow, I suck. Okay. Oh, fighting. They're fighting over here. Alright, so right here, I choose to try and take this fight because it's pretty much on the edge of the map on high ground, which means that you can't really get third party in the back because it's really hard for other teams to follow you and get up there. So basically the point of this is so that we can get early game kills and we don't really have to worry about it later. It also helps get your armor up as well. So basically what happens is we get some good damage off. They run away, but we do get one kill, which is pretty solid. Oh... Oh, headshot one. Headshot another one. Oh my god. Probably the second day best of the R9s are first. I think the R9 nerf kind of made it the second best. Where's the third? I see him. Wow, I suck. I see him, he's over here. Head, you cracked him. Dead. Yeah, his teammates are far. Reloading. Can you get the finish on him though? Nice. Enemy killed. Alright, so right here, y'all are gonna see me stare at my map for like five seconds. And what I'm looking for is where the zone is gonna end. The easiest way to guess this is to look for where the white zone circle, which is the one that you want to be inside of, and the red zone circle, which is where you don't want to be in, are touching each other. And it's not what always happens, but a majority of the time, the zone will pull to whatever location is close to those two touching zones. And you'll hear me say that's going to end on top of trials because of this, or the buildings below, which is eventually where it pulled. So my goal is to try and get my team to those back buildings and set up for the win. We don't want to get this is a weird zone as well. I think this might end top trials, but I'm not sure. This is a weird touching in the back. It's going to end top trials, it's going to end like the buildings in the back. 10 seconds. Rings just ahead. Enemy that way. One height? Oh, yeah. Cracked one, 42 flush. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Why me? All right, well, I guess not. Let's go into Skyhook. So call me scary or whatever you want, but we only take smart fights here. We try to make it to the end game as a full team. 
So I chose to back off for three reasons, right? First, a fight like that is impossible because there are three ways to push that tower. The Pathfinder zipline, a horizon gravity lift, or the two connecting ziplines to the tower. We don't have the first two options, and the connecting ziplines are death wish. The second reason is because it's a waste of time when we have a good idea of where the zone will end, and I'll never give up the chance to win the game for three kills and possibly dying. The last reason is because that area of the map gets heavily third partied, it's very open and that team is already fighting someone. So had we pushed them, that second team just cleans up the fight and we're probably rage quitting and getting off. Okay, it's not. Down another. I don't know where their teammate is. We killed their Pathfinder, so I don't know who their team is. Apparently he's... Maybe they crafted this, but can you craft banners with Caustic? As y'all saw, we ran into a duo on rotation, quickly got them out of the way, and then we ran into another team in the building in front of us. The reason I wanted to take this building fight was because we know there's nobody on our back, so we can't get third party from behind. But the main reason is because we really don't want to leave more teams on our back that could mirror our rotation and be a problem later. The fight wasn't clean, but we made them leave, got the revive, and start our endgame rotation. Need a vault key. Wow. I do. Nice. Can we try and kill them real quick? That's their ult. What top floor? Around. I'm messing you, I'm messing you. Let's just evac after this. Heal up and then we're gonna evac. I have him. Oh, okay, whatever. So like I said before, you predicted that the zone would end in the back buildings, so anyone who ain't believe me, you're probably sitting in the lobby right now mad because you ain't rotate correctly. But you can see that we don't land directly at the buildings and choose to land down the hill at the building in Skyhook. We literally cannot fly that far, and landing on the roof gives us a chance to look at the uphill path, maybe use another evac tower if we need to, but we don't, and we walk up and take our spot. All right, now look up the side. Can we run up here? Let's reposition there. Somebody have med kits? I have none. He just shot me too. Here. Thank you. Healing. Watch my back. It should end back here if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Uh, we should- oh, Team houses, team houses, team houses! We gotta kill this, we gotta kill this. I think it's just one. I just see a path. On the fence, on the fence! Yeah. I feel bad. Yeah, you should just lock down with the buildings. Yeah, you should lock down... This building, I think. I think this building's the safest. And then try and push traps on like the other side of this rock, maybe. Like or not the other side, but this side. So you can play both. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that rock. Just secure the doors in this building. Actually, maybe you should Maybe you should put both doors on the truck, Loki. Because I feel like we maybe just don't want a team going in there. They're rising on height. They can just slide down. And they have a path zip too. Alright, so real quick, I had to point out one of the small things I do that is really important. I see a Valkult go off, and my first thought is to go back to the building and hold our spot. 
One of Valk's abilities is that she can see the locations of players on the map while flying, so I didn't want that Valk to see an open building or one of us isolated from the rest to decide to make a play. Because at this point in the game, we cannot afford to lose our spot. So a good tactic to use is whenever you see a team flying, especially a Valk team, stay close together and in the spot you want to avoid giving up to other teams. Lobby, you should keep looking left. Valk all thing. Play the building, play the building, play the building. You don't want to let them get the building. Yeah, just make sure they- we're just gonna play up here to make sure they don't swerve. Cause they'll go for that and then they're just gonna die. So what you're gonna see is a stupid revenant who thought he could push up on us. I use my Bangalore ult not for the damage but to create space and make that team back up. It's important to note that earlier in the game I picked up a second ultimate accelerant to get the ultimate back right after so I can afford to throw it now and I would still have another one for endgame. There might be a team over there, so watch that. Look right here, look right here! Revenant in the open! I'm, I'm just gonna bang out this to keep them off. Keep them. Already on my mark, firing for effect. Give me a second. Recharging shields. I'll get it back, I have two ultimate cells. No ticks. Running back. Popping these altic cells. Yeah, they should. Height's helping us. Don't shoot height. Height's just gonna help us. Two more small but important things are picking up grenades and also shooting any enemy evac towers that you will see. Grenades can help you get entry damage in a fight where you may be at a disadvantage. The reason we shoot evac towers is to not allow a team that is in a bad position to just fly away and actually us shooting that evac tower ends up getting that team killed. Valk ulting? Wait, that's a, that's a evac, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Outside, yeah. They're just frantic. Good play on the low ball. I'll play back here. You should play with the low ball. I see the rev. They're going left. They're going left. Watch the left. They're going to be downhill on you guys. Let me know if you need me to ult them. I'll walk up and ult them with you. I'm just going to keep my eyes on height to be safe. Should I ult them or something or no? Don't take too much damage, be, be safe. Nice, one said. In zone, in zone, in zone, in zone. I'm ulting this. Myer strike, Myer strike, Myer strike. So first, I look at the zone and see that the rock with the grass is actually a great spot for the final zone. It provides an off angle where I can possibly get damage on the team that is on the other side of our rock. This also leads to me finding the solo, who I decide to 1v1 because I need my teammates to hold our position. And I'm also just better than that kid. I had LeBron shaking in his boots. He didn't even crack me, I got shot in the back for him. But after I killed him, my teammates got a good entry knock on the final team. I came in, put the grenades I picked up to use, cleaned up, and won the game. Somebody's on me, somebody's on me, somebody's on me. He's probably right. He's up top somewhere. Danger close. Not too far from ring. Got ten. There's no one here. Enemy close. I see them far, bro. We gotta kill this rat. Final ring's closing in. I killed her. I killed her. Rat. Nice, nice, nice. Nice to it. I'm just nading that. Throwing arc star. Throwing arc star. Arc star out. Throwing nades. I cracked him, cracked him. Got him. Another notch on the belt. Oh, impressive. 
Nice. Easy. How many kills do I have? Alright, oh, six. Nice. Back to back. So simple. You are the Apex Champions. Damn. Let's go. Another W, bro. Back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> two, two, two. What a beautiful number. Alright, so this game is very similar. This is actually the game that got me into Diamond 2. We're making our in game rotation. You can see that I love going through that back choke in the sky. Look. The main thing I want to focus on in this game is comms and a really bad fight call that I made. I'm not perfect, Joe. But anyways, I'll let y'all watch for a little bit and jump back in later. If we can kill this tunnel team, we're gonna win the game. That's what the other team is. We need to make them fight. We need them to fight. Horizon's one, Horizon's one! Reloading. Try to get the other team to push them. And you guys have energy? I have, I have 24 energy left. Shit it. Thank you. Okay, we want to try and take the tunnel from this team, but I don't know if we even can. Being inside is going to be so much better. It's fine though. We can play outside if we have to. Is there a team on the tower? I wouldn't take it just because of the team in the tunnel, but they're fighting in the building. They're up here. Yeah. Path uh, of the big 60. Smoke out. Trying to play this. Yeah, there's a team in here. Almost killed a Watson. Don't worry, don't come in, don't come in. This is bad, this is bad. Give my shields a recharge. I mean, one of us can go up to height. Yeah. I don't think we should all go up there, though. If that's the team, that's like. If that's that team, then we should. Then we can play up top. Pushing me! Pushing me! I killed her! I killed her! They're lobo looting it. Optics here. Close range. Sometimes there's something better it. than iron sights. Take him down. Give me a sec. Recharge. Healing. Much air back. I have five cells and two bats and then a phoenix. The As a team in the building, nobody's behind us, so. Over there. Our back is good. Are they fighting in the tunnel? Wait, is there a team in the truck though? Look, okay, okay. We can't do anything about tunnel. Well, nice, good stuff. Just chill on them, just chill on them. We just gotta get picked. I'm gonna go up top. Portaling, portaling, portaling. I don't have a lot of shields. Give me a sec. Recharge your shields. They're fighting in this building too. I'm gonna break this door. They're mobiling back here. I'm gonna throw a bang ult on that. I have two, I have two ult excels, I can get it back. Nice. I bang ult to the team over here. Alright, so let me explain what's wrong with what I'm about to do. I got a little bit too greedy for kills since we hadn't found people all game and we were in need of meds and ammo. But you should never leave the best spot that is in the safe zone to push a team that will be forced to come to you anyways and you can kill them that way. Their building wasn't safe and they had to move. The next mistake I made was not waiting for my whole team to push. While my vantage could have followed me, our catalyst was playing low ground and if we both pushed the building, we were leaving him by himself. So overall it was not a good call, but we made it out alive. Eric, come back a little bit. I'm smoking, I'm smoking off. Giving him the chimney. Yeah, they're just playing height, they're just gonna play height. Nice! Can we zip and kill that? I'm, I'm finishing this game. 
Inside, inside. I'm going back tight, I'm going back tight. So the last thing that I want to bring up is awareness. I recognize I have a teammate on low ground, so when I see that there is at least one person playing under us, I alert the team and also prepare to drop down and help our teammate if he needs it. In hindsight, I would have had our advantage go down because she can use her ability to retake height, but it didn't end up being a big deal. You moved. On the roof, on the roof, on the roof! Nice. Wait, do you need help? Do you need help? I got you. I'm, I'm coming down with you. Target's over here. Not my ult, not my ult, not my ult. Play safe. I'm taking this evac. Nice. Taking this R9. Somebody's on the left, I think. On left, on left. I'm with you. Now that I'm ulting this, I'm ulting this. I have Smile, smile. I, I knocked one, I knocked one. Final one's closing in. It'll be Fubar. Found another target. Jose, I need help, I need help. Watch out, enemy's here. An enemy shield. One shot, one shot, pass. Up in the chimney. Got him. Nice. The, the other ones are fighting, the other ones are fighting. You might be able to resin, you might be able to resin. Watch my back. You're on my heel. Yeah. Here. We just won this. We just won this. Go, go, go. Mark start out. Frag out. I think it's just one. Where'd you go? Fire. I got you. Nice. So easy. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment about if you like these styles of videos with post commentary or if you like the shorter gameplay videos. I love making both, but these videos definitely take longer to make, so if y'all really mess with it, then I'll continue doing it. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.